Hello and welcome to ESPN Cricket for Dailies. I am Ronak Kapoor. Our top stories from the world of cricket today. Chennai seal a six-wicket win over Delhi to move up to the top of the table in the IPL. Former Cricket Australia board director speaks on the anniversary of ball tampering and Lasith Malinga released for the entire IPL by Sri Lanka Cricket. With eight runs needed of eight balls, MS Dhoni smashed a six and defended the next ball to yet again take the chase into the last over. Despite Kedar Jadav failing on the first ball of the 20th, Dwayne Bravo finished it off with two balls to spare. Bravo also starred with the ball by picking up three big wickets of Rishabh Pant, Colin Ingram and a well-settled Shikhar Dhawan to apply the breaks on Delhi's innings. Shane Watson and Suresh Raina got Chennai off to a flying start and set the stage for a Dhoni finish. The defending champions have now won both their matches and sit at the top of the table. Mark Taylor, the former Cricket Australia board director, has admitted that a grey area remains about how long the national team was using illegal methods to alter the ball's condition. Three Australian players were banned for ball tampering during the Cape Town test, but the investigation commissioned by the Cricket Australia board was limited to that match, with no powers to look more deeply into the matter. Speaking on the one-year anniversary of the scandal, Taylor has conceded that there are a few lingering questions even as Smith, Warner and Bancroft have returned to the game. And finally, Lasit Malinga is now available for the Mumbai Indians through the month of April after Sri Lanka cricket granted the paceman permission to skip their domestic one-day tournament. Malinga had originally declared that he wanted to take part in Sri Lanka's domestic tournament to have a close look at some of the players that are likely to be picked for Sri Lanka's World Cup squad. The speedster is now likely to be available for selection for Mumbai's next match away against Bangalore on Thursday. In case Malinga does return to Sri Lanka, he might miss about three matches for Mumbai if Gaul reaches the final. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.